Hello and welcome to Cosmic Heart Space. Georgia Ashara here, who is sharing today an interview with you about a recent mentorship that has happened with the wonderful Chloe, who's going to be sharing today um, her experience and what she received, and yeah, what you can also understand about this mentorship, what it entails for you as well. So, without further ado, um, if you're ready to just take some time to listen and and hear what's, what Chloe has to say. And I'd love to welcome you into the space and just thank you for, for taking this time um, to be here and be vulnerable as well because a mentorship and the things that we, we do in those spaces can be very vulnerable. So to be able to talk about you know actually taking this initiation is also really wonderful because um, I think more people need to know you can do this and it's really good to actually vocally share um, our experience. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for, well, for the mentorship, first and foremost, and for inviting me here to share, because like you said, I think that's such an important part of the process as well. Um, a lot of courses often are just sort of given to you and then you're set off on your way. But all this kind of sharing process is also a really beautiful part of the integration. So thank you. Any way that I can help you or help other women to have access to this incredible work, I'm more than happy to do so. Oh, thank you, Chloe. Yeah, I'm really, yeah, really looking forward to sharing more about what we uncovered because I think that there were some really powerful experiences there that, you know, I think that when people actually understand that they can access that level of, of healing and coming back to their true essence it's like wow well, that that's that's accessible i can do that for myself as well so i wanted to ask you what um was the first initial interest in womb healing so it's been it's been a few years now well more than a few years quite a long time that it's been sort of slowly the seed has been planted within me and growing and i think it all started with sort of starting uh, building an interest with connecting to the cycles of the moon but more mm -hmm. in in the astrological sense and kind of just finding that interest in the moon and the cycles of the moon and then it wasn't until a friend a dear friend of mine pointed out to me well you know the cycles of the moon is the same as our own cycles within us and then I think that was a, a light bulb moment <laughs> of you know wow there is something there's something really bigger going on here yeah. um so that was probably about four years ago and since then you know I've been making a note of my own cycles and really tuning into those and even just doing that had such a profound effect on how I treat myself and my body, how I look after myself, how I feed my body, you know, how hard I work, all of these different things. Um, so that sort of really builded a connection, but I suppose that I got to a point where I was like, what can I do next? How can I take this to an even deeper level? And I think that's when we get to the point and it's like, I do, maybe I do need someone to come in and mentor me. Sometimes it's hard to do this on our own. And when it is, when we're working with the womb, it's a beautiful opportunity to be in a sisterhood because we all have wombs <laughs> and to do this together. So I think it was just um, another step, you know, along this path of just self-interest and self-inquiry that, that I'd been taking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. It's just like a journey, isn't it? We start to uncover more and more things. Yeah. And the idea of being held in sisterhood is exactly what we're about and we 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 are meant to be in this not even just sisterhood but it's like tribal it's community isn't it you know we we've become very singularity and just trying to do things ourselves very independent which is also a wonderful thing but you know being able to know that you are held and that there are those around us that can support one another because we are all one on this journey Mm -hmm. so yeah I love that that's what where it led you <laughs> from the moon from the moon to your own womb <laughs> yeah from outward to inward <laughs> yeah. yeah so okay so what made you say yes to David okay we kind of covered that that's why you said yes to this this mentorship I don't know if there's any more that you wanted to kind of go in with that yeah. Well, it was it was kind of um, divine timing, actually, almost mm -hmm. divine intervention. Mm -hmm. um, 
partly because I had before you, you know, I discovered the mentorship that you were offering. I started having some issues with my own health. Like I started feeling some pain in my kidneys and in my left ovary. And I started experiencing, experiencing some bleeding in between my periods. And this is just, this isn't something that I have experienced for years and years since I started really tuning into my cycle. So I was like, okay, this is obviously a signal that I need to pay attention to, but I didn't really know what to do. And I didn't want to go to a doctor because I knew that they would just try and give me hormones, which I've worked so hard to do over, over so many years. So it was divine timing. And then I also had, I think I told you about this. I had this experience when I was lying in bed one night and I just got this message from within me that said, it's time for you to unlock your divine feminine. It was just like this feeling, this voice. It was like, it's just time. It's time. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and then within, you know, a week of all of this, this kind of self recognition that there was something that needed addressing within me and then this voice from within almost like an ancestral calling the mentorship with you came to me you know so it was kind of like a no-brainer because it was just the timing was perfect yeah yeah interesting like that ancestral calling which you know um, I like that you touched on like kidneys because Again, I think with a lot of, I mean, womb work is very broad, like, you know, how we work with things is very much on the energetic spectrum. So yeah, you know, so of course it's important to go and see a doctor, whether that's a Western doctor, a herbalist, um, a naturopath, you know, of some kind, mm -hmm. but then there's this energetic aspect and we know that everything around us can kind of absorb and get into our energy. Our experiences can be held energetically. And then there's that, physical manifestation that can happen so when we start to work with an energetic aspect of it we then are really working with its original form of where this thing has first come from so i love that yeah the ancestors because we touch upon a lot that there are these ancestral things that can kind of come in so we don't understand where it's come from we don't we don't know if we might not have had an experience in this lifetime mm -hmm. and but we've got some kind of mysterious element or um whether it's emotional or or physical and so there yeah, the ancestors can also help guide us to heal maybe what they didn't beforehand or or just generally helping us because they know that they've been there too and <laughs> they can they can see that what 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 we can be uh, guided to do so I just wanted to ask you as well um and i'm just for anyone that's like looking at me well i'm looking at notes because i've written <laughs> questions so i don't forget all the important things that i feel that people will want to actually know and understand so we have uh what was it about what i offered that made you choose this container um and me as a coach so like what are the kind of things that um stuck out out of this particular mentorship Mm -hmm. so what I remember when we had our consultation it was then because you just made me feel so comfortable which was nice mm -hmm. you know it, it felt like a sisterhood it didn't feel like you know paying for a mentorship or anything like that it didn't feel like a business it really just felt like I was being really held and really understood and I could feel that when I was just telling you the reason why I was interested and, you know, the reason why I was here, you were really taking it all in. And it was also something for me that I really, really liked about it was that it wasn't like a rigid course. I could tell that you were tailoring it specifically for my needs, which I really like. I like that fluidity, you know, and the, the adaptability to change and build a course around someone's needs and you have this incredible toolkit of all of these kind of ancient practices that you've been taught and you've learned and you've gathered along the way um, and you're bringing this all together and then also one of the highlights was that you actually create this beautiful mandala the cosmic mandala for as a gift you know for everyone on this mentorship and to me that was just such a beautiful thing to receive a piece of artwork so yeah 
I hope that explains. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, it's from and your I, heart. Also, I, I liked that there was an element of mystery because mm. I, I have found that when I'm, if I've signed up to a course or a mentorship or even an event before, and it's got this kind of rigid time frame of what's going to happen when I almost start to get nervous and start to my mind starts thinking oh I don't know about this and I, I don't really want to do that and I don't want to do this but where it's just like okay I'm just going to give my trust into you and just know that every session is going to be exactly what I need it to be so I liked that it wasn't just such a rigid thing it was just a very just very loving and very soft and feminine as what you would hope for in, in a womb healing space. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And because this womb healing, you know, we talk about the womb because we, as female bodies, you know, we are focusing on the female anatomy, um, working with the breasts and the only area. But this is really like a whole body transformation, right? So like, do you want to cover anything that you found that came up during that time like what what transformations did you experience you know I know you spoke about the kidneys mm -hmm. and um I won't give you too, yeah there's another question that's come in but uh, I'll ask you about um, um so throughout throughout the course yeah mm -hmm. well the physical things all of those pains that I was experiencing have gone they have subsided I don't remember kind of in which session that happened so maybe it was just all of the work that we did together um also like the bleeding between periods has completely stopped I've had two moon cycles since our last session and it's everything has just been like it perfect timing I've just been really in tune with my body and my cycles exactly where my hormones are at no pains no kind of concerning um symptoms or anything so that's been amazing I've also felt a lot more in touch with my intuition Espe like especially recently and I know that me personally when I go through these deep healings it takes me a while to integrate and recently in the last couple of weeks, it's been almost like I've I've said a question out loud or I've questioned something or I've been like, I wonder why this means this or internally. And then just the answer will just come to me out of the depth of my being. And it's like, oh, OK. <laughs> um, so that's been amazing. And then I've just felt a lot softer within myself. And I've experienced a lot more inspiration for building up my own business and my work, um, which is something I was really struggling with before. I felt stuck and I was kind of stuck in this place of just like, I have to work because I need to pay my rent and I need to la 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 la, but just stuck in this cycle. And now it's actually like, no, everything's fine. You know, I can take a step back and just by giving that gift to myself it's just allowed this these kind of floodgates of creativity to open and I think just giving myself the time to work with you and receiving the incredible gifts that you gave to me it gave me that connection with my womb which is obviously the center of creation so subconsciously it's given me that support to just be more creative within within my business and the offerings that I want to birth and create yeah exactly because it does it rises up that mm. frequency and of course I mean you actually already do know this because you are a kundalini yoga practitioner and you know that's an incredible force and energy in itself you know mm. and yeah, when we specifically work with some of these other like more Taoist practices and the light co practice you know bringing all that together like you're supercharged yeah <laughs> you know, you're like tooled up as well um <laughs> With, with amazing practices um and so like with the light code i know that we we did some things with that um i love that you just drunk some water there it's just like <laughs> we, we, we like to use light code artwork to charge things up you know that's that's one of my actual internal downloads that was really received uh, you know i've received that from the cosmos if you will i don't know gift from the universe and and I like to just yeah gift that to other people you know and 
um, and I, I know that you also had like artwork wanting to express. Do you feel that you've been more expressive, creatively, creativi creatively, creatively yourself? <laughs> to be honest, no, but it's oh. it's been coming out in my business. So oh. like creating flyers and, and like new ideas coming up that I've been getting very inspired about. So yes, but no, in terms of my own like drawing and things like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's like, it it's just going where it needs to go, but I guess it's going where it needs to go. Yeah. yeah that's the way, you know, your, your passion is right now is, mm -hmm. is the, is the business and, and how that can actually assist you in your business, which is kind of, you know, we don't always think about that. I certainly don't think when I have people come to, to work with me that I'm that I'm going to be helping them with their business. Yeah. <laughs> you know, everything is like a domino effect and everything is connected. So, yeah, if like if there's one aspect of us that really just needs that extra nurturing mm -hmm. and we give it that nurture, we give it that space, like that feminine energy and things like that we actually allow then other things to to be created and, and to start to open up and it starts that energy starts to then move through other aspects of our life like you say the business which couldn't sound and, and i also want to just relay that and that can sound quite masculine because you know the, the business i think people perceive that as like really masculine and that this work is very feminine but also interestingly it's it's unity it's it's really about coming into balance and harmony so of course like you're able to then bring that feminine to something that might be perceived as quite masculine so there's more harmony in that aspect i mean i'm just speaking of what i'm sort of receiving there but you'll have your understanding of that yeah can i um, add on to that as yeah. well yeah. because yeah. also it and and to add on to what you said about the domino effect also mm -hmm. and i think what the reason why I've been channeling this creativity into my business is because yeah. the direction that I want to take in my business is creating something where I don't have to work so much so I'm creating space in my life <laughs> so I'm creating feminine by you pouring that kind of into the masculine you know because then creating that space so that then I can have more time to just do artwork and and pick up my guitar again and all of these things you know but the the first thing is creating more of that space so I just need to pour a little bit more time into my business you know so it is it's all about balance and where where the attention goes you know the energy flows and my attention is in you know my business at the moment so yeah, yeah I agree with what you said yeah incredible and and because that does speak to so many people like we're all actually driven in this what i perceive as kind of a distorted masculine mm -hmm. you know, where we really just put our natural cycle away whether you're in a female body or not everyone is dry you know we both have the female and the masculine energy within us we all have cycles everyone's moving through those cycles and yet it's like we're just kind of ignoring that you know we're currently we're both in britain you know we're in that season that beautiful autumn mm -hmm. moving into the winter we don't need to be doing the amount of work that we was maybe doing in the summer but it's it's like everything kind of gets reversed or it doesn't stop people end up working more and more and more throughout december and they put more pressure on themselves buying all these presents and having all these parties and then people get really burnt out and then they wonder why January is the January blues. Yeah. <laughs> and it really doesn't need to be like that. So yeah, when we come into touch, we're in, to, in touch with ourselves, we're just coming in touch with the natural rhythms of life. <laughs> like it's, it's literally all of life, like everything. And, and that's where I think that intuition really comes in because we're just, hearing ourselves we're hearing the nature we're hearing the harmony of the cosmos which is us it's like whew, yeah it's really really powerful um so okay i feel we're ready for another another question <laughs> um what did you um, i feel i say what came up to be released i think we touched on that with the kidneys didn't we yeah. i don't know if there's anything more you wanted to cover with that 
Let me, I'm just going to turn a light on. It's getting a bit dark here and I don't want to be... <laughs> it's black. <laughs> yeah, I can already see it kind of getting darker. There we go, that's a bit better. <laughs> Um, I don't know if this is something to be released, but this is something that I've also realized that I've really gained. It's a lot more respect for my body and for myself and just a lot more love for my body. Not, not how I look, just how I like feel in my body and how I look after myself, how I feed myself and just a lot more respect, a lot, mm. lot more. It's, really and it's, it's it's quite a difficult thing to explain um it's definitely a, a, an embodiment and a feeling mm -hmm. but and before I... it was it could be very up and down for me and now mm -hmm. I just feel a lot more comfortable and a lot more respectful of this body and just happy to be in it <laughs> it's always such a beautiful thing to hear and I completely resonate with that because I've been on this journey obviously myself and wow I've been through those waves and and like letting old things programs kind of take hold of of moving into old cycles but yeah once you start listening to the body it's like oh like what does the body want to eat not not what I should be what the outside world is and yeah that again it's that intuition that we always come back to which is really integral to human nature <laughs> and it's um, like that letting go of i'm too <laughs> fat or i'm too thin and just being like no actually i'm looking after myself and that's all that matters yeah, it's yeah. that mindset shift mm -hmm. yeah and i when we look at archetypes as well with like you know the, the maiden mm -hmm. and the mother when we look at this and the crown, like we, we were meant to move through all these cycles and we really like honor that and be like, yeah. there's like a whole ritual that can, can go through each um, journey of our life, each cycle um, as, as womanhood. And yet there is this sort of, in society, we do have this idea of like really staying young and constantly needing to be the maiden. So like looking like the maiden, of course, yourself and I, we haven't had children, but when when anyone does have children, it, whether you do or not, we should be able to embrace like curves and things like that. That should be something that could also be celebrated in our society um, instead of like, you know, we have to stay in looking like this forever. <laughs> and then it's condemning something that's really just a natural cycle of life. It's, it's yeah. kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah what did you enjoy the most um I would say two things and these are just things that have really kind of stayed with me I can't remember when we did this in the practice but it was the guided meditation that we did when I, you kind of embodied the elements within me so it was like feeling the water in the womb and then breathing that fire down and then creating this steam and it was just like it was this kind of remembrance of this power that we have and like working with the elements to something that I do in kundalini yoga but this was a real internal embodiment and connection to the elements that is rarely felt so that was it was really amazing and for me that was just such a clearing you know feeling that water and then heating it up and steaming it was like an internal sauna <laughs> on my body and I just remember afterwards like everything was just tingling and that feeling of a real internal cleanse and I'm all for energy work I think it's just so powerful and something like that where you were guiding me with your words which were amazing but you were empowering me to do the healing myself and you know when you can experience that within yourself and be like wow I actually did that myself you know I embodied all of the elements in my own self and experienced this incredible cleansing that's when you realize like how powerful we are as humans as women you know in this body so that was that was really amazing. That was a beautiful experience. Um, another highlight was just that 
when you know you just would adapt the course you know depending on how I was feeling or if something just didn't feel right you just straight away without any issue just moved on to something else and you just had this toolkit and you were just able to read the energy and just flow with it so that was really really nice and then the last thing was receiving the light code the mandala because and I know I think this is a really important point to put out there because a lot of people can see light language or light codes and just be like, what on earth is this? Like, it just makes no sense to me. This is woo woo. <laughs> and I get that, you know, it's it's I personally have never had any of my own experiences connecting with like star beings or light language. And yet I'm very you know, whenever I hear about like the, the different planetary systems and, and star families, it, I have a feeling in my heart, you know, there's something there, this connection and this calling, but just because I haven't had an experience and maybe not everyone will, it doesn't mean that we can't receive the codes and the healing from it. Mm -hmm. And the moment that you showed me my light code mandala, just something within me, it was just this almost like ancient, feeling you know this ancient connection within me that was overwhelming and just so beautiful mm, yeah it is a very powerful thing and mm -hmm. just to, to reach it I love what you said about with um just to go on a, a, to talk, talk about the topic of of being able to transition through different practices throughout each session yeah I do like to be very malleable because um yeah things can come up like we and i'm sure you don't mind sharing of um you know, we, we'd had actually uh, an experience you had a very profound experience and then i was ready to move on to kind of the next thing and you wasn't so we had that time to be really present we allowed the things to move and we knew that there needed to be something else and that the next the next thing that was kind of pre-planned wasn't going to be the appropriate thing with what you had experienced from the prior thing yeah. so it just really helped and allowed that and what i really loved um and felt kind of proud of you i would say actually was the boundaries you know because another thing that kind of comes up for a lot of women in particular is boundaries and how we have to work through boundaries and i think this is really i mean i say women but it is everyone because we grow up as children and being told like you know that we can't have a choice over so many things you know you start going to schools where you wear uniform you sit at a desk you do this this and this and that conditioning then stops us from having choice you know we have to behave a certain way otherwise dot 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 and um, mm. so we have to uncondition ourselves to not be the people pleasers anymore but actually be the person who honors exactly how they're feeling and what they are and you know we've been practicing that throughout and I remember when that happened in that session you you actually said like, I don't want to do that <laughs> that next thing I was like okay that's great and I was <laughs> like and we sat there and I think maybe you were, maybe you thought that I was a bit triggered but I was like no this is and I was just feeling all this like gratitude and excitement I was like oh my gosh she just shared her boundary with me I was like yeah this is awesome like honestly it makes me emotional because like boundaries to me are just so like important like I'm I've been the same you know I've been there just letting people do and me being this yes person and getting myself into like long-term situations that just didn't need to be continuing because I couldn't be the no person so like so so when I I've done all that work to get where I am and then to be holding that space for others to do that it it, it, it makes me so happy because I know what it's like to live that life and yeah to see you do that and you know and I, again I, I saw that rippling out from you beyond that as well like you know the things that we had shared in conversation about what was going on in your life and the boundaries that that you were able to implement going forward was yeah it, it was cool it was cool to see and I, I love that um, I think um, that was also a reflection of the fact that you created a safe space for me, because especially as women, we can be made to feel very vulnerable. And throughout this energy work, we can be put in very vulnerable places. So like you said, after we had a very powerful meditation, I was just feeling very vulnerable and I wasn't ready to go deeper or start 
voicing how I was feeling um, mm -hmm. and you, you made it safe for me to say I'm sorry I don't I just don't feel ready to do this yet I don't feel comfortable so thank you for creating that safe space as well and I think like anyone who does watch this like it's so important that we do this like hold women safely because we have spent our whole lives being put in vulnerable situations where we don't have a choice to say no and we are here, we're changing the paradigm, we're changing this place, like this space and making it safe. Hmm. <laughs> thank you, that was very empowering. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> may, may the world, may the world, honestly, may this ripple out, may this ripple out so that everywhere, you know, we start to see more safety for women, just women feeling safe and there's, you know, not this other things that, yeah, implement and put us at risk at times maybe people can just see a little bit more that we need to create that and, and again i've seen the same thing even in healing spaces myself where yeah. it just feels like there's too much vulnerability going on and not enough like like reading the room you know or reading the individual that you're working with and that's really the most important thing that we've got to do um and yeah so then going into yeah the light code um just that uh that you touched on like just how you felt internally like there's that ancient remembering and this is like a little thing that a little thing it's a magnificent <laughs> amazing thing i shouldn't even play it down myself but i feel that a lot of like my own programming is sometimes you know we think about what what, what is this essentially going to be for but i i just want to scope on the fact that we are all beings from you know the the source the one creation and like these codes can actually really remind us of that so that ancient primordial soul remembering and you know it it doesn't look like a tangible thing like you know we might have some practices where we work on those kidneys or we work on the womb and the heart but this this is just going into that vastness of our being and i think that's that's how i interpret anyway and from my perspective of of what you're experiencing mm -hmm. um and so yeah just lovely that you can do that and then you've got all your tools you know i've given you a workbook so that you can actually um use different practices and rituals to to connect with these codes so that they can deepen that so that there are people like you said you might not know un or understand about light codes yeah. <laughs> and but so then okay there's these practices that then you can actually start to play with them and and that gives you maybe more of an understanding rather than so I mean well, so we're just scrolling now aren't we and just go oh, I don't get that I don't understand but <laughs> yeah. you have to have one and be like okay oh and I can do this with it I can do this with it and you know meditation which is actually an ancient mandalas are an ancient practice in in Buddhism so yeah. uh, we're really recalling that but with a with a bit of a twist uh maybe a more modern cosmic kind of to it. I mean, it's all cosmic, but <laughs> so, um, yeah, we, we talked about that. I feel like we've already talked about kind of what the results and the, the transformation since, since the mentorship. I don't know if you wanted to just scope over that quickly or as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> and I've also felt, um, I wanted to add on to the, the light codes and the mandala because mm -hmm. I think again, for anyone, like I mentioned, who, who isn't, particularly who hasn't had any experiences with it or doesn't maybe understand it I think you you don't really need to you don't really need to read into it it's more of just being open to the energy and whatever messages want to come through because it's anything that's cosmic is is not going to be on a level that we can comprehend in, in any kind of human form so for me I've just allowed it to be there I've got it by my bedside so that I can wake up and look at it every day and I found that it's just kind of my guide you know it's my reminder that I'm so much connected to so much more than just this little life and we put ourselves in these little boxes but that's just my reminder you know that the world is so much more and we're so connected to each other and then a power you know so far beyond this human experience as well so even just having Having that and like receiving that gift has just it's given me the sense of calm and knowing you know just like everything's everything's okay 
it's okay. <laughs> yes, so I am an infinite divine being of light. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just lovely, you know, it's lovely having that there. Um, something else that I've experienced as well is I'm not, I've never really kind of liked dancing as a practice. But what I have found that, not that we did loads of dancing, but we did even the qigong and stuff and like moving the body in a very flowing way, that mm -hmm. has con like that has been, I think, the contributing factor for me feeling more comfortable in my body. Because mm -hmm. I felt, I went to a ceremony on Sunday and we were all dancing around the fire at the end and I just felt very comfortable in my body. Whereas before I'd just be like, oh, what, like, what do I do? What's everyone doing? But I was just like, I don't care. I'm just gonna like feel the music and close my eyes and have a great time. And I think just playing in that way in a safe container, just kind of, I at, at first I was like, oh, I'm just, I don't really like this. I'm not that kind of person that dances at home. You know, that's just not my jam. I, I do yoga and other stuff, <laughs> but now I'm laughing because I'm like it all, all of these tools have added up to, you know, a knock on effect of me just feeling more comfortable in my body. And that's what it's about essentially, isn't it? Movement is, moving the energy and allowing the energy to flow through your body removing any stagnancy any kind of self-doubt all of these things so mm -hmm. yeah I hope that answers your question I kind of got yeah, lost yeah. Yeah, yeah I didn't know this about the, the dance that was really interesting because and I've, and I've held sometimes workshops and things and some people are like oh I don't dance yeah I'm not a dancer and it's like it's not about being a dancer. It's not about having a, even having a rhythm or a pattern or a flow or some moves. It's about the energy moving around your body, mm -hmm. and, you know, and letting that be an expression of how you're feeling. And let the movement be an expression of how you feel. So you can release that and and yeah, and we can like actually yeah move energy through our body. We don't have to do like specific even like qigong. You know, you can move beyond the qigong and actually just flow and that's the whole idea really with qigong it's it's kind of like a it's a movement moving meditation that's just structured to help people to understand the flow but really we want to go beyond that and start to and start to just feel our energy moving through our bodies and then you want to move because it feels like you're you're moving your energy you know you're aware of the energy and i think that's where it comes from you know with the static dance and things like that yeah. but yeah i think we did an element uh, dance didn't we one day with yeah. the different elements and dance with them as well which again helps that us to connect with that, which is within us you know and mm -hmm. certain ones can trigger us and it cannot feel good but that's actually a good, a good thing because it's, yeah. it's addressing something that we may not have been able to pick up on <laughs> then we can look at the element and then we can look at you know the things behind the elements and how we can bring more of that element into our life for the healing that, that we can see from the element um yeah okay so the last question i've got here is um what will you do going forward <laughs> i've asked but i mean what what could you be doing what what do you feel going forward i want to restructure this question but what what do you feel going forward um you know as as someone who's now practiced womb healing like how does that feel for you now in your life how do you it feels great and it's also um you've shown me that it's it can be such a broad spectrum as well which is wonderful you know there's you've given me so many different tools and I think that's a really important part of holistic healing like holistic you know it doesn't have to just be one thing like if we're feeling one way one day we can choose whatever feels right for us you know and you've given me multiple different meditations that I can go to and like you've you've shown me um the elements that are connected to the different organs like the lower organs of the body which is going to be something so useful if I feel a pain or any kind of discomfort I can do the ones my magic ones <laughs> ones of light <laughs> mm -hmm. um and things like that and definitely connecting with with the light codes like drinking the water because I 
I've had a few experiences recently as well, which I haven't mentioned where I've been in meditation or kind of ancestral journeys, shamanic journeys, where it's been this huge message of you need to connect with water, 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 water. So <laughs> I'm going to be using the codes, drinking water and just taking these tools forward and it's really really shown me how important it is to connect with my womb in order to be creative and really connect with with this inner creativity in all aspects of life and this is just the beginning so I'm excited to keep doing this work and just seeing like how how it unfolds so mm -hmm. thank you thank you thank you <laughs> For sharing this, I feel inspired myself and, um, you know, it's really opened up just to the vastness of, and the spectrum of what this work can do. So, yeah, I feel very grateful that you've come here today to share uh, what you experienced and how these sessions helped you and everything that um, has unfolded in this time and beyond. <laughs> So yeah, if anybody here has um, you know been inspired today by what Chloe has experienced, then just reach out to myself um, at www.cosmicheartspace.com and or you can go on to georgia at cosmicheartspace.com for email and just ask if you would like to book an inquiry call and then we can explain more in depth of again what it, what is entailed in these courses and um, how I can best uh, serve you. So sending you all so much love and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now. Thank you.